What's up YouTube, Jonathan with Texas Lunch and Dinner here bringing you the latest Core i7 15 inch MacBook Pro review. I'm going to take you guys through the box contents, the specs, the features, how much it costs. I also want to talk about Turbo Boost and Hyper Threading. I haven't seen that covered too much in any of the reviews. I'm going to give you guys what I thought about it and tell you if it's worth your money to buy. We're going to jump right into the specs. This 15 inch MacBook Pro features the Core i7 2.66 gigahertz CPU. 4 gigs of DDR3 memory up to 8 if you choose. It has a 500 gigabyte 5400 RPM hard drive, the NVIDIA GeForce GT 330M which has half a gig of GPU power. It also features Intel integrated graphics with automated switching for better performance. This base model comes in at $21.99 US. You guys can score up to 200 bucks off with an education discount. Inside the box, you obviously get the MacBook Pro, the MagSafe power adapter, the wall plug, the installed DVDs, the owner's manual, and some stickers, as well as a cleaning cloth. The MacBook Pro comes in at just under 1 inch thick, 14 inches wide, weighs about 6 pounds. We have an LED backlit display with a resolution of 1440 by 900. Here we get a close-up of the multi-touch trackpad. Following that, I'm going to show you guys the LED backlit keyboard. Typing feels pretty good, much better than older MacBook Pros in my opinion. Moving down the side, we have the MagSafe input, the Ethernet port, FireWire 800, mini display port, two USB 2.0 ports. Right here you guys see the SD card slot. It has an audio out, it has a headphone jack which is also an audio in. Moving further down we see the battery indicator and as we flip it on the other side you can see Apple left it very bare, only the super drive. Which leads me to my next point, one of the things I don't like is it gets very cramped if you have all your peripherals plugged in. Next I'm going to run you guys through Intel Turbo Boost. When you're using processor intensive applications on a single core, the Turbo Boost will kick it up from 2.66 to 3.33 gigahertz. Now keep in mind this is only when you need it, when you don't it's going to kick it back down and it's going to optimize performance. Now what Apple doesn't tell you, if you're using Turbo Boost on two cores, it's slightly lower. It takes it up from 2.66 to 3.06 gigahertz. It's not bad by any means, but I just wanted to let you guys know that and it's still a very impressive feature. Now physically this is a dual core CPU, but with Intel hyper threading it allows the OS to see and utilize four cores. I've used it extensively with Final Cut Pro, it sees it and it does take advantage of it. Moving on to the battery life, Apple claims about 8 to 9 hours. I tested it, I got about 7 hours and 40 minutes with moderate use such as web browsing, iTunes, email. Now with intensive applications like Final Cut Pro, Keynote, I got about 3 hours and 40 minutes. Now those are still very impressive numbers in my eyes. Okay, I gotta say I'm very impressed with the new i7 MacBook Pro. I actually sold my 2008 8-core Mac Pro to fund this. I knew I'd be giving up a lot of the power as the Mac Pro is a beast and a workhorse of a machine, but I was blown away with how well and how fast the i7 MacBook Pro performs. If you guys are on the ropes about picking one up, I say go for it, I have no regrets. The boost in the GPU was nice. If you're wondering about playing games, this will do it very well. It's not going to be like a PC where you're going to overclock it and play high res maxed out gaming settings, but it'll do the job just fine. Like I said, if you're on the ropes, pick one up. I have no regrets. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Stay tuned, and as always, feel free to subscribe.